Folks, one of the cool things about CES that we get a glimpse into the future, and we might have a glimpse into the future of remote controls right here at the Philips booth. I'm John P, and this is GeekBeat TV. Our 2012 CES coverage is powered by Ford. Hey folks, I'm here with Tom Dubel from Philips. Thanks for joining me today. We want to take a look at these cool new remotes you've got. Hey, thanks. Um, yeah, we've got some uh, different products out here. This one is our, one of our latest. It's got uh, a touchpad on both sides of the remote, so it has a keyboard on one side with also a touchpad. So you can, if you're using it in the internet form or something like that, browsing around, you can also navigate. Uh, and then it also has a traditional remote with also a touchpad on it. So we've got touch pads on both sides, depending yeah. on what we're what we're doing at the time. Right. So in some of them, some cases, people don't do that, and then you have to keep flipping back and forth. Yeah. Kind of gets to be a pain when you're trying to have a good user interface. So true. Yeah. Now this one, I think we're looking at a prototype, right? We can't actually get one of these right now. No, we're working with a number of companies right now, and and with the user interface on their box or their television, and we're trying to optimize it for for the use of cursors and floating around in in space and using it for control. All right, so let's see what can we do with this new type of remote. How does this one work? Is that infrared? Is it RF? What's it What's it going on here? This is RF, and uh, and in fact, the whole thing is RF. It has uh, two touch pads, like we mentioned. It also has uh, an accelerometer in it, so you can use it also to to uh, use some in in space kind of motions as well. So. Uh, I guess the best way to do it is maybe show you some things. So uh, like if I look at, the, say, a television, uh, I can be watching television, and if I want to change channels, I can just kind of swipe across the remote like you would on any, like a smartphone or anything else, and I can, I can navigate through the channels. It that is very, very cool. I mean, that, I love the way that floats in the middle. But, but now this also, this has to be tied into the development of the device, right, itself. Yes, it does. It has to be made in that way. So uh, it also, though, because it's still like a cursor, I can still go up and down and right and left with it just with a push. So this touchpad also is able to be pushed so you can use it like a, like a, a normal cursor remote control. Gotcha. Okay? So if I also go back now and uh, from a television mode, I go, say, to, to video. So I've got recorded video, and I want to be able to look through at different movies I have. I can use this to go in and pick something I want to watch, and then I can, uh, I can watch it. So as I'm watching a recording, I can, uh, I can basically move through the recording at any point in time. You're not going to let them blend one of these remotes, are you? No, this is the Apple. <laughs> He's blending an iPad. If you have your photo library on your, on your server, on your home server, and I've got pictures here, I can, I can swipe through the pictures and, and see the people, see all my friends. These are all my friends. <laughs> and um, and if I want, you know, I can also just click on them and zoom in, or I can I can you know see in. I can also move around in space on them. I can zoom back out, so I can whatever I want to do. I want to move around. Wait, you're moving the picture by moving your hand, so you've got proximity kind of situations right. going on here. Very right. cool, very cool. Now I think this is one of the remotes you guys have. We've got another one over there. We're going to take a look at. Before we get over there, let me just take a moment and uh, say thank you to Ford for bringing us out here for the CES coverage. Sync AppLink is the game-changing technology that lets you use your voice to control mobile apps on your phone. You've got Pandora, iHeartRadio, Stitcher Smart Radio, Slacker, and more are going to be announced during CES. Okay, so we're here with Aryan, and he's going to show us a totally different kind of remote control. Aryan, this one is what, laser-based? How does this one work? Actually, it's, uh, it's like having a laser pointer in your hand, and when you point to the screen, your cursor will actually appear where you're pointing at. So like a laser pointer. It kind of reminds me a little bit of a Wii remote. Uh, actually, there's uh, some similarities, but here is, there's a lot of uh, difference and the new added uh, uh, features to this uh, technology. We are offering a chipset, and it's offering uh, a full QWERTY nav uh, keyboard, navigation, and a, a pointer. You see, when I point there, you can just have the normal mouse interaction as you're used to. Uh, in addition to that, there is also an accelerometer inside, so I can play a game like this one. This is an uh, accelerometer-based game, so I can uh, fly around and the device, uh, the, the game is responding to my tilt and pitch of the hand. You see? Oh, so you're just, you're not having to push a button or anything, you're just holding the, you're just literally kind of flying the remote through the air. Try to fly, you can have racing games and a lot of, uh, you know, Games you are seeing on your tablet or your um, iPo iPhone or Android device, you can play what you want on your TV from your couch without having to touch the screen. That's very cool. Without having to, to tilt your uh, TV. 
Right. Yeah. Okay, so this technology is basically two parts, right? You guys are building the remotes, and they have the chipsets and the programming built into them yeah. to be able to do this. But on the other end, we need the manufacturers to build in the receiving portion of this, correct? Yeah, there's uh, some options there. There's, uh, you can have an accessory, so you can put it uh, somewhere near a TV, or you can integrate it in your TV or um, uh, inside the box, yeah. Excellent, excellent. All right, guys, well, that's a look at what's coming down the pike for intelligent remote controls. Stay tuned for more coverage from GeekBeat, geekbeat.tv forward slash CES 2012.